Climate Africa is the organization created by African heads of states to ensure that ICT becomes priority number one for the development of the continent, that ICTs are used for the sustainable development goals, that we give an opportunity for our youth to innovate and create jobs for our citizens. But most of all, we want to make sure that uh, information and communication technology will be the catalyst for the one billion citizens of the continent of Africa. I look forward to a time when Africa is just one market because it's one continent with so many countries, so many different clothes that are working against us. And it would be really nice to have, even if it's a region, East Africa region, South Africa region, having one market in a way that we are able to empower ourselves. I aspire to be an expert in uh, cyber security and uh, with the chance I've gotten of being in CME Africa, I think I'll be able to achieve that. I aspire to use my platform as, as an entrepreneur later on in my career. So an entrepreneur creating products that help African governments find cost-effective solutions to the everyday challenges of an African citizen. The scholarship fund has been created by the heads of state. They put the first funding themselves in the program in order to ensure that we have a real good strategy to attract funds from other uh, uh, stakeholders like private sector from Africa, private sector from other continent, and also um, we want to make sure that uh, we are the ones who are leading the, the, the curriculums that are being taught. If our children are not educated in uh, uh, programming today, in computer science, in maths and science and physics, they will be illiterate tomorrow. And therefore, it was very important for Africa to come together with an institution like Carnegie Mellon University, which has the right culture for education, the right culture for sharing of knowledge, and, that, and the right culture for entrepreneurship. I'm very fortunate to be among the first CME recipients of this scholarship. And it is really encouraging to see that countries are willing to empower their own people. And the only thing that I can give back to the community is to ensure that I use, since and I have access to it, to use the right platform, to use the right people, and to use my own resources and the people that I have gone through this journey with to effect the plan that I have. We are trying to make sure that uh, there are a number of uh, students that will be coming to Carnegie Mellon University on a regular basis. We have signed an agreement for the next three years. We hope that it will go beyond that. We hope that it will train the trainers as well, because we're talking about uh, hundreds of thousands of people to be trained in the next coming years in the ICT field. And Carnegie Mellon University can really drive for us the strategy. Smart Africa has given me an opportunity, one, to be able to pursue my dreams in Carnegie Mellon, Africa, which gives me one a wide range of professors with a broad experience. And it challenges me to think outside the box. So with the skills acquired and the network that I get to have access to, I hope I can use, I can match those to the network and the knowledge to fuse into my passion to better my country. Well, I'm sure that all the students have been beneficiary of the Smart Africa Scholarship will be successful in their lives, in their professions, in their career. We are building the next generation of African leaders and we want to make sure that they are successful. Mm -hmm.